having that mentioned now. An image that lasts only about a second before blood begins to seep into the room. What the hell happened in that mansion? Why is there blood everywhere? Filtering into the walls, trickling from every nook and cranny, everywhere. Furniture shakes and every beam rattles. Before we can even step back from the horror gradually unfolding in front of us, the door slams shut. A loud thud bringing a sense of dread and chill creeping up in each of us. Along with it is another realization the old place is reordering itself. What? And with the door closed tight behind us, showing no signs of budging even through sheer force, there's no choice but to go forward and hope to all gods that it will lead us to an exit. What the hell? Until then, running is the only thing we can do, spurred by nothing but fear and a sense of desperation to live. It's useless, Ashton Frey. But with each room we pass, it only becomes apparent that the house has no intention of leaving us. It lured all of us here as we've fallen for it. Now it's playing a little game with us. A sordid form of amusement. For whom? <laughs> Their laughters are the only thing we can hear. With every hour we cross and door we slide open, the hope of finding an exit merely dwindles. The gun at my hip is useless here. I am useless here. Some fucking genius I am. Some fucking person to trust I am. All of those deem me nothing in the face of the unknown. You finally figured it out. Huh, Ashton Frey. Just give me the She's talking about Isabella. And you are going to die alone. <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth. <laughs> you know it's true, though. All of it. It's why all you can do is tell us to shut up. You don't want to hear a single word. Because you're already aware of it. This is so fucked up. You can't even admit it to yourself. Who's the coward now? But no matter how hard you try, you're not gonna be able to save anyone. Eh, it's safe. <laughs> the more gruesome the place turns, the bleaker our chances simply get. Wails and screams fill our ears as we pass by, words from a time and people long gone, laced with nothing but pure agony, cutting out, reaching out to us. The voice is almost too real, as if we're not the only ones trapped here, that there are others begging for a release from this wretched place. Or maybe it's all just a show, a taste of what we will eventually be. Souls forever held captive in a never-ending nightmare? <laughs> mother, I've done it, mother. Take me with you, please. What? What did you do? I can still hear her. She's here. I don't get that girl, though. Who's here? And what did you do? And who's the mother? Help me! Help me, please! Is calling help to a mother, but... Is this what the curse is? What it means for all of us? That the letter not a morbid cry for help, but an invitation? A beckoning for unsuspecting souls to be dragged into this place hours? be put under centuries and centuries of torment and agony? Suddenly, dying, of, dying a painful death seems preferable, and 
enticing that ending up here living a tortured existence. Or perhaps it's all the same? Still, hope worms its way into me, not a usual thing for someone like me. But after going through countless doors and corridors, every little sign of hope I'm willing to cling to as long as it will get us out of here. We're back in the dining room again. How long have we been running? How long have we how long since we've left the kitchen? At some point, I've lost track of time. With the windows barred tight and the sounds lifting in the air nothing but shots, shouts and shrieks, it's impossible to tell. Not that it matters when an end is inside. Shelves and furnishing bar the door, each stained with blood and gore that if the situation is not as desperate as it is, I'll find a different way out. But there's still a gap left at the topmost part of the person to go through, as long as you use the shelves to climb. It's next it all right. From here I can spy the familiar walls of the foyer. Oh, relief, only relief washes over me. Although my legs have been strained, taught by how that running, and every bone and muscles in my body ache, there's only an, an easing. A sense of tension relieving while energy pack flows through me again at the side of an end. No sooner I'm leading us out of it. Isabella airs Mekalo first assisting her up and through the gap the moment the interior design in I thought for her to go through go ahead I'll watch her back surprisingly she follows without any protest but that there's any need to something after entering this room the whole place has calmed down no wails no whispers just a silence too deafening but I'm not letting my guard down until everyone's on the other side of this nightmare safe. For all I know, this might just be a calm before another storm. Without further incident, however, Isabella makes it to the other side and I'm following after her. Okay. However, all this hush is, I turn my back from it and climb up. It's a tight fit, but I manage to, to squeeze myself in. An ease remains though. Maybe it's the adrenaline still coursing through me, or how easy everything has been after living through that nightmare, feeling as it is. And for some reason, something's still nagging at me. Calling a detective instinct for my training, or what not, I have a feeling something's happened and catch us unprepared. Unconsciously, before dropping down on the better side of the stream, my hand shifts. The gun at my hip. Instinct has never failed me before. Is the picture any different? Trying to look for any. No, all right. Everything seems fine, but. My feet has not even landed firmly on the floor when- I know there would be a party in my own home tonight. I would have opened a bloody bottle or two. Of course it's Luke. People these days, in my own home. Can you believe it? I feel so left out. A chill seeps into every vein in my body. All of a sudden, Every ache, every pain returns to me tenfold and my knees threaten to buckle at the sound of his voice. Though it appears friendly, I know it is anything but. One does not spend investigating a man like him for over a year and holding a grudge against him for more without knowing everything about him. His quirks, his habits, I am familiar with all of them. And right now, Luke fucking right is beyond pissed. Shifting my gaze upwards is nearly too painful knowing it the danger. Not to me, but to those who have been lured in, in here by the curse. Oh shit, he has a gun! The handgun catches my eyes first, next to that smart, smart, smarmy smile on his face while he does Mekalo and Isabella at gunpoint. It's sight enough to lodge 
Your pants were thrown up my throat. Ah oh, shit, we need to save. I've been too complacent. To focus on other things that I've completely set aside the fact that scumbag will not be too pleased to see us here without knowing our reasons. But even with those with the intentions, curses and ghostly apparitions aside, we're still just trespassing his, in his own. The question is, if he's even aware that the whole of his that the whole of his household has somehow disappeared, and he might be the only one here. Likely not. Fuck. Even with people he knows among the crowd, there's a significant effort in him not to simply shoot everyone in sight. And really, Lily, even you. <clears throat> Sir, this is not what you're thinking. Something, something's going on in this mansion. Well, obviously, why else would people be trespassing in my home? Wait, he knows? What's your excuse? Checking back if your clients are doing okay? Is that it? Is this what this is? Oh, uh, does he? We're doing good, by the way. You're doing good, by the way. Sir, please. Oh, please what? We need to get out of this place. You need to leave. Ta -ta -ta, not a good enough excuse, darling. You people are the ones who need to get out of my sight. Don't worry. I might consider pressing lighter charges for the woman. Let's see. Let's see the same for feathers here, though. What really now? I swear. People needs to stop breaking into my house! This is how you want to start the week! Why don't we just go with a bloody massacre if we want to surprise people in their homes, huh? Casually, he waves the handgun at them as if it's just a mere toy and his words are no threat. The safety's off on his, nothing stopping him from pushing the through with his words. Call me paranoid, but at a slight gesture, I draw my own and level at Level it at him, finger on the trigger and ready to release the safety catch in case things go south. Ah shit! It's happening! He's quick to train his own on me though, and just like that we're at a stand, a standstill. Now now feathers, manners, you're in no position to be pointing that gun at people. Uh, actually yes. More than you actually. Why don't you put yours down first, and then we'll talk about manners. Oh, he talks back the gall. You know, your kind pisses me off so much. Shooting him right now will be so worth it. With the way he stares at me like a ma- I'm a damn pest. But this is not what I've come here for. I'm not a murderer. As much as I loathe him, I'm not the kind who will kill people in cold blood for my own gain or amusement. The law will bring him what he deserves one of these days. At the moment, however, we're all in the same boat with his curse, and he needs to understand that. The longer we stand here, the more time we're wasting and losing something we don't have much of. But how can I convince him? This gum is so full of himself, prefers to hear the sound of his own voice more than those of the people around him, no matter how much sense they make. Probably only way I can make him listen is if I beg. No way in hell that's happening. Oh god damn it. I might come save this one guys. <laughs> Cause I, I um I don't want this guy to die. I like him too much. Maybe I should eliminate the immediate danger first and disarm him? But how would you do that, though? Let's try begging first. My life's not the only one at risk here, however. There's Isabella. Mekola's here as well. We're all unknowing victims to this fucking curse. I'm in no position to pick who to save and who I should simply let die. I suppose my pride can take a few hits and I can set aside my beef with this asshole. Taking a deep breath, slowly I lower my pistol. 